Hey gang, um, this video is going to be a frequently asked questions. I, I asked people to uh, send me some questions about the Orion RXB 250 dirt bike. Um, so I'm going to just going to get right into it and answer these as I kind of got them. Um, if you can see my computer here, I, I'm looking at it. Um, so first question I got was, what is an RXB 250? Um, it's a dirt bike, an off-road dirt bike, and they also make a street bike version that um, is made by a company called Orion in Texas, and it's 250 cc's. It's a uh, single cylinder overhead cam, four-stroke engine dirt bike. Uh, what is the seat height? The seat height is 36 and a half inches. Is it two stroke? No, it's not a two-stroke. It is a four-stroke. Um, what is the, what size tires? I'm assuming they mean the rims. I, I don't know the individual tire sizes, but um, it's a 21 front, 21 inch front, and an 18 inch rear. Um, what size carb? Um, mine came with a 30 millimeter carb, which I, in turn, switched out to a 32 millimeter uh, carb a PWK Makuni copy that I got off of Amazon um, just because I felt like it was underpowered with that small of a carburetor. Um, later finding out that maybe that wasn't the case. But for me the um, the mid and up improvement that I got out of the 32 millimeter swap was worth the effort. Um, is it electric start? Yes, it is electric start. Love it. It does have a kick uh, kick start backup, but um, it kind of rubs on the foot foot peg, and it's very hard to get it to start by kick starting. So just go with electric. Um, how is the suspension? The suspension for me is fine. Um, others have said that they felt it was a little harsh. And still others have commented to me that it's not motocross ready, but um, I've ridden it on a motocross track mostly. I haven't had an opportunity to do, to do too many trails, and um, it's held up fine. I don't have any problems with it. Um, <clears throat> I had mine serviced, just an oil change on the front forks and the shock in the rear by a company in Asheville. I'm not going to name them right now, but you can look them up. They're uh, race tech um, sponsored people or affiliated, however you want to say it. Um, they changed my oil out to maximum five weight in the front. I don't know what they did in the rear, but it was maximum product. Um, and that was a huge improvement for me. It, it made it seem like it didn't have any kind of hiccups in the stroke. It was just straight up and down, smoothed it out. Um, also, they informed me that uh, a lot of times the the bolts for the clamps in the front um, get torqued too tight in that combined, and they saw evidence of that binding on my, my fork tubes on the inside. So um, I went with the specs that they told me, um, and uh, I'm sorry I don't recall them right now. I want to say they were different on the top than they were on the bottom, but... Um, they followed Honda recommendations. Um, so getting on with the questions again, um, can I get parts for it? Yes, you can get parts. As a matter of fact, Orion is getting much better at stocking parts for this bike and also offering extras and mod parts. Um, right now they're offering CNC aluminum hubs, front and rear. They also have an aluminum sub, no, sorry, an aluminum swing arm available. Um, both those go for like $250. Well worth it. Um, even if you don't save that much in weight. I, I've recently found out the weight savings on the swing arm was about three and a half, four pounds, and the weight savings on the um, CNC aluminum hubs was zero. So y your weight savings would come from changing tires and changing from a steel rim to aluminum rims. They, they come with steel rims. Um, question number eight, how much travel in the suspension? Um, 11 and a half front and rear. 
very good. Full size motorcycle, motorcycle, dirt bike, um, suspension travel. Um, does it have four valves or two? It ha it is an overhead cam with one intake and one exhaust valve, so two valves. Um, <laughs> someone asked me, can it be a motocross bike for my son? I would say no. It's not necessarily a motocross bike. Not that it can't do motocross. I, I've done motocross on it. I feel it's fine, but, you know, I'm an old guy. Yeah, I'm a vet guy. So I'm not hauling ass, and I am not jumping triples. So um, I would say it's not a motocross bike. If, you, if you're looking to get your son something in the motocross vein, I, I would go elsewhere. But um, if you wanted to just have a good dirt bike for going around on trails and the occasional uh, track day, yeah. I mean, it's good. It'll hold up. It's not going to beat itself up. These Chinese bikes have really come along in the past couple of years, and this one in particular, um, I made a video dollar for dollar. It's the greatest value out there right now. Less than $2,000 delivered. Yeah, of course you're going to change some parts, but you would change parts um, if you bought a, you know, me, I was looking at a YZ250, and I know I would have changed parts from day one, so there's your roundabout way of saying it's definitely worth the money um let's see where am i question number 12 who makes the plastic um 2014 to 2016 ktm 250 125 sx has worked for me and others um the exes and stuff like that also seem to be okay too but those are the years 2014 to 2016 13 question number 13 is it loud I would say that it's loud I would go for something that was less uh, less loud than this or put an aftermarket um, muffler on it uh, question 14 will it run on pump gas yes it will run on pump gas but use the supreme 92 if you can get 93 even better um, just to keep it from knocking the, the lower the 80 the 80 stuff will knock. Okay. Uh, question 15. How far can you go on a tank of gas? I really don't know. I ride all day long and don't even use half a tank. If that gives you an indi indication of what you can do on track and trails. But um, as far as actual mileage, my bike is the dirt bike only and I don't have uh, any kind of speedometer or anything like that. So I don't know what the mileage is, but it's, it's pretty far. Um, do you need to mix the oil with the gas like a two-stroke? No, this is a four-stroke, so you just put gas in the tank, and that's it. Uh, question 17, does it come with alloy wheels? Unfortunately, no, it does not come with alloy wheels. Um, the, well, it doesn't come with aluminum rims. The hubs are an alloy, but they're cast, and they're not CNC. Um, let's see here. Question 18, is it a 250 or a 230? Um, it's a 230, I believe, or 233 to be exact, I believe, is the number on it. Um, the new Honda CRF 250 is a full 250, and this is not to that size. How are the brakes? Uh, the brakes are disc brake front and rear. They're not as good as the Japanese bikes, but but they're very good. They're not they're not a problem. Um, I bled my front and got an even better power out of it. So I would say if you're into that, have the capability to bleed the brakes. I, I would bleed them and you'll get really good feel out of them. Does it come with uh, question twenty? Does it come with a warranty? Um, it's kind of a half-hearted warranty. Yes, uh, part replacement. My, I think they're advertising full year part replacement, but um, I've heard, I, I'm not bashing Orion, that's, you know, they're the company that are selling these things, and it's up to them what they fix and don't fix, and what kind of a warranty they kind of offer, but um, I've heard people complain about some things that have broken that they didn't honor the warranty, they, they blamed it on the person, so treat it right would be the first thing, I mean, yes, even in my case, I, I destroyed the front uh, rim in the beginning 
uh, totally warped it and bent it all all out of shape. Um, it turns out that my spokes were a little bit loose. I kind of did a cursory once over um, on the spokes instead of going through and effectively tightening it, tightening every one. And I destroyed a rim, and they didn't honor that. So um, I would say yes, it comes with a warranty. I, I don't think it's something that you need to stay away from the bike for, but um, do your due diligence in the beginning and uh, set it up correctly. Make sure you tighten everything down, lock tight and, and re-grease and go through all your electrical connections. Um, how is customer support? Other, other than the scenario that I had, they, they're awesome. You can get on their Facebook group and they'll answer you within an hour. And they're always trying to improve um, to, to make the product better and to to keep people happy buying the bikes. So, excuse me, I would say the customer support is great. How heavy is it? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> I want to say 265 is what I got, but I did it with two scales, two bathroom scales, one on the front rim, one on the back, and kind of add the, add the poundage together. And I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but um, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to stay with that. 263, 265, somewhere in that neighborhood. And yes, it's heavy for a motocross bike or a dirt bike. Um, but at the same time, you're getting steel, no, no real aluminum, um, and, you, and you're getting something that really will last. That that frame should last out. It, it's very strong. I, I wouldn't worry about breaking a frame or anything like that. Um, let's see, tw 23 is the better option. Is this a better option than the CRF 250, 230, or KLX 230? I'm going to say yes. Um, they don't have the suspension that we have on the Orion. Um, and power-wise, I've compared my, I've ran into some people that had CRF 230s at my track, and I blow them away. So it's definitely a quicker building kind of power. I don't think it's exactly the same copy as a CRF 230, but I'm I may be wrong on that, but they're choked up real bad with their exhaust and their carburetor anyway, so this, this is a better option. Um, question 24, person asks, or, I weigh 200 pounds, is this bike powerful enough for me? I would say yes. You're, you're topping it out maybe at that kind of weight. I, I weigh about that, a um, little less than that. And the suspension is kind of in that, that's about the top of the suspension and top of the weight. Uh, sorry, weight load that it can manage effectively and, and be able to enjoy it. But um, yeah, I'd say that's fine. Uh, here's the same question, I put them together. Um, I weigh 200 pounds, well I need new springs. Um, I was told by the suspension shop that ideally it was um, like 150 to 185 is the pounds that the springs were designed for. But um, I weigh a little bit more than that, and it's fine. I, I would say if you're under 200 pounds or right at 200 pounds, spring rates should be okay for you. Um, question 26, what camera do you film riding videos with? Okay, someone looked at my riding video. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a couple riding videos out there. They're not very good, but um, I was more testing the camera than I was trying to show the abilities of my camera. Uh, sorry, of my riding. I was trying to show the ability of the camera and test it out and see if it could could take the jostling. I mounted it on top of my helmet and it works fine. The uh, camera that I got, the brand I got, is a Nikasso. It's an ES7000 uh, 4K, but it, it, I don't really think it films in 4K. I did 1080 at 60 frames per second. Um, it's what you're watching right now. It's what I make all my videos on and I, I do the riding videos on. Um, and I want to say the thing was only like $75, maybe $80 on, um, on Amazon. It comes with a whole bunch of uh, mounts and connectors, and um, there's an app. It has a wristband so that you can start and stop it, which is great for uh, riding on the motocross trails. So, yeah, I, I highly recommend the Acaso ES7000. Um, 27. How many gears does your bike have? My bike is uh, five gears. It's not the six-speed like the CRF 230. It's a five-speed. 
Uh, 28, question 28. Has anything broken on your bike? I want to say I snapped one bolt off, um, over tightening it, or maybe it just wasn't um, capped out correctly. It was on my right um, brake caliber. I just recapped it and put in a, a real bolt. Um, I think these bolts are not, uh, I don't even know what they're made out of, to be honest. They don't seem to be as strong as like what you find in a car or Japanese motorcycles. Um, I bought a bolt kit, so I've replaced some things. So yeah, a bolt here and there, but no, nothing major has broken on my bike. Uh, 29, question 29. What can you do to make the bike lighter? There's tons of things you can do to make it lighter. Um, aluminum rims. Uh, the aluminum swing arm that the, that Orion is now offering is three pounds. Um, the tires, I want to say, someone told me, just switching out a tire can save you one and a half, two pounds per tire. The original tires are real heavy, I believe. I, I haven't tried that. I don't know. Um, anything you, you you switch out anything aluminum, you know, bars, grips. I'm uh, sorry, bars, levers. Um, removing the kickstand, removing the kickstarter. Uh, oh man, there's just tons of tons of things. It's all over Thumper Talk. If you go on Thumper Talk and kind of just look it up under the um, Chinese bikes, Orion RX V250s. I think a bunch of people have already commented on ideas. Uh, foot pegs is another one, just off the top of my head. So yeah, there's there's quite a, quite a few things you can do. I would say you could drop 10 or 15 pounds. Not really having to try that hard. After that, it's going to be kind of hard to get more. Um, also, someone said the muffler was a lot. You could probably pick up a couple of three pounds there. Okay, question 29. No, sorry, question number 30. Who makes the forks and shocks? I want to say they're different with different runs. The first runs that came out had Fast Ace, but mine has something called KKE. Um, they're a major com company in, in uh, China. They, they do uh, suspensions for other people. Um, I don't know if it's true that they backdoor make stuff for Kawasaki, but they do have a picture of a Kawasaki motorcycle on their website, if that means anything. But um, I would say either one, Fast Ace or KKE, are definitely good quality. They're, they're not the lowest level that I've ever seen. Um, they're knockoffs, cop copies of other people's stuff anyways. Uh, the hard thing is just getting the the rebuild parts, um, rebuild, you know, like getting uh, fork seals and sliders and... Um, spring rates and stuff like that um, and actually just finding a diagram of what is actually in there is going to be hard because it's you know it's Chinese knockoff but as more and more of these things come around more and more of the tuners are going to have more stuff to it and like I said you can easily get the oil change which is a big improvement right there so um, question 31 does it have an oil cooler no it doesn't have an oil cooler but um, there are some people that have put oil coolers on these type bikes and um, with the exception of worrying about it getting busted off if you were to fall I'd say it's a good option anything you can do to um, cool down your oil is always a good thing and it'll make your bike last a lot longer but no it does not come stock question 32 is the RX B250 a KTM copy um, it uses KTM parts, but I wouldn't say it's a copy. It's kind of a hodgepodge of, of many different things that they've copied um, from other motorcycles and taken the technology and put it into this. This is its own thing, and I don't believe uh, it's a KTM copy. It's, it just uses some of their parts. I hope that answers the question. Uh, question number 33, how did it ship? Um, for me, it came, Southeastern Freight Lines came. They called me a couple of days before they were going to deliver it to ask me where I lived and what type of vehicle they could bring. Um, they ended up coming with a 26-foot box truck with a lift gate on the back, and I had to pay extra for the lift gate service. But it was worth it because, you know, I live in a residential neighborhood. They dropped it off, pulled it right into my garage on a pallet comes on a pallet, strapped down, 
if you get the unassembled, you're going to get a metal frame around it. Mine was assembled and they just used the cardboard uh, with shrink wrap. And you'll get, uh, you're supposed to get, the street bikes are supposed to get uh, an extra box that has, I believe has an extra carburetor in it that is supposed to be e EPA approved. And it's supposed to have two quarts of oil and a spark plug. Um, no manual. That's another question I see right here. Does it have a manual? No, this bike does not come with a manual, which is unfortunate because people need it. So if Orion, if you're listening, please get us a manual if you can. Um, question 35. What do you know about the RX D250L, the street version? I know very little about that bike. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same bike, but it has headlights, turn signals, different wiring harness. Um, a speedo sensor in the, on the reads off the front rim. Uh, sorry, the front uh, brake rotor, I believe. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have a lot of answers for you on on that. If you have questions for me about the street version, um, I would place them in Thumper Talk. Um, and also, there's a Facebook group, um, Orion RXB Riders Group. Um, other other people have more experience with the street bike version. Question 37, what oil should I use in the transmission? Um, they, they ship it with 1040, um, but I use a, I use a motorcycle-specific 1040. I don't use car stuff because they have additives that I believe are not so good for your clutch. So I would go to a motorcycle shop and get a motorcycle-specific uh, 1040, maybe even a 540. Um, but yeah, those are, that's what I would use. Uh, 38. Where do you live? Um, I live in North Carolina, um, just outside of Raleigh, and another person's asking a little bit further down, <laughs> how old am I? Um, I'm 54 years old, and I'm just a, you know, haven't ridden in a long time, and uh, usually I, I used to just do motocross, never been too much in the trails, but I bought this bike to do kind of trail riding and um, go out a little bit more open spaces if I can. I'm finding it a little bit hard to find those places in North Carolina, so if you know of some place I can go um, that's centrally located, uh, hit me up, please. I <laughs> appreciate it. Um, and that's all I got for you guys. I just wanted to make a quick, quick video. It's not riding season here. It's uh, been rainy. It's been cold. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to break the bike out in quite a long time. Um, the last thing I did was put a 48 tooth sprocket on it and that's been months ago and I haven't had a chance to even try it out except for zipping up and down the street but everything I do about this thing with this thing um, I'm gonna put it on this channel um, I'm actually thinking about changing the name so if you guys have some options um, or ideas about the name the the one I'm liking so far is dirt bike Dave channel but um, I don't know I'm open to suggestions also suggestions for like what you might like to see a video of. Um, working on the bike is um, a little bit hard to uh, film, but I am going to do maintenance kind of videos, and uh, at some point I'm going to you know need to change things out, like change the piston and rings and stuff like that. But I foresee that lasting well over a year, so those will be pretty far off. But Anything else I do or change out, you know, maybe some plastics here or there, or add some hand guards or anything like that, of course, I'm going to film it all and put it on this channel. And I'd like to ask you guys um, if you could do me a favor. If you get any um, value out of any of this or you just enjoy hearing me talk or whatever, could you please like and, sub like and subscribe and maybe tell your friends? I, I'm going to try to get this thing to the point where maybe I can get this thing monetized, but even, even if I don't, just share the information. That's what this is all about. Um, I'm enjoying this bike and I'm enjoying getting back to biking and you know just like to share this with everybody else so just tell your friends 